Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm your boy Joe, aka The Casual, and this is The Clinch. Cue shitty intro. Let's look at this. Look at the suplex here. I on his hands. Suplex last oh, night oh. on his oh. head. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Uh, how do you guys feel about Adesanya moving up to fight Jan at, at 205? Um, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Jan Blankovic? Jan Blachowicz. Jan Blachowicz. Jan Blachowicz. I probably butchered that, but anyways. How do you guys feel about him moving up to 205 to become a dual weight world champion? Yes. I mean, if you're really asking me for my opinion. No, don't like that. I think that it's a perfect time for him to do it. I think that he needs to do it now before John comes back down from, well, potentially heavyweight to fight for the title again. And because I don't, I don't think that I definitely don't believe that Adesanya has what it takes right now to beat John, but I do think that he has what it takes to beat Jan. Now, I think that Jan has a very, if you go back to the Anderson Silva and Forrest Griffin fight, Jan has a very similar style to Forrest Griffin. You know, Forrest has that, he, that that kind of brawler kind of striking um he strikes from the hip don't ever do that again and he'll throw like a three or four punch combo followed up with that that left high kick or left body kick and Jan does that same thing he blitzes in real quick and then he'll follow it up with the left high kick or left uh uh, left body kick. And we all know that Adesanya has a very similar fighting style to to Anderson Silva. And Anderson had forced timed out perfectly in that fight. I mean... All you guys know that. You guys have seen it. He Forrest didn't belong in there with Anderson. Now I say that because I think I think Adesanya has the potential to rewrite that fight in Jan. Now the only difference being Jan is obviously significantly bigger than Adesanya. Adesanya fights at his weight class. You know, Jan Jan is a is a big dude. He's a big 205er. And he's got to be 230, two, maybe 250 when he walks into the cage. I'm probably pushing it a little bit at 250, but he's a big dude. And so that's, that's I would say that's the key difference between this fight with Adesanya and Jan opposed to the fight with Anderson Silva and Forrest Griffin. So, outside of that, though, I think it's going to be. A, I think it's a very similar fight, and I think that if Adesanya can get the timing down with Jan, I think Adesanya's got it all day. You know, especially with Adesanya being a counter fighter and Blankovic, he blitzes in. You know, if you go back and look at his past three or four fights or so, he always does that. He always blitzes right in. Now, he is pretty good on the ground. His wrestling is solid. He's not very good off of, off his back. If you go back to the Gustafsson fight. Isolated. You see some swelling on. In these positions, he knows where his target is. He's almost pulling Bravich onto those elbows. Punch you and you can't do a great deal about it. You can see that he's horrible off his back. But... He's extremely good on top, though. His his wrestling is really solid. And Adesanya doesn't have a... He's just not known for his grappling ability. So if Jan brings 
Adesanya to the ground, then I think it's all over for him. I think that is the the key to victory for Jan. But if he tries to keep it standing up, there's a poss there's a possibility he might get he might get caught coming in. And you know, we've seen Adesanya finish a couple of different fights with that like slip left. He'll like he'll slip back and then counter with that left hook. You suck. That's not very nice. And with Jan coming in like that, he leaves himself wide open. And again, going back to the Forrest Griffin fight, he did that same thing. And Anderson neutralized that. He would he would throw out a quick jab in between those those flurry of shots. And the the knockout shot was just that. You know, he blitzed in and then he couldn't he blitzed in and then got caught blitzing in from a jab. And then dropped him, and then that was it. But at the same time, I also kind of think that Forrest gave up in that fight, if I'm being completely honest. It show. shows complete disdain for the striking ability of Forrest. Look at that right hand. Look at that. I mean, that was just like a paw. He just slapped him. I think after that last knockdown, I think he just didn't want to be there, which I don't blame the guy. But who do you guys think is going to win that fight? Who do you think is going to win that fight? I think... Adesanya has the, he's technically superior to Jan, for sure. He throws a broad array of different strikes, you know, and a broad array of different of different kicks and knees. He throws pretty much a little bit of everything. Opposed to Jan, you know, he just kind of blitzes in and then finishes it up with that that left high kick and so I do believe that if he stays patient and he he takes that first round to maybe time out Jan you know get his timing down with him then maybe he can catch him coming in but anyways let me know what you guys think man and until next time keep it in the clinch